Chaka Joyamba Gini Banka Ranchi Oyamba See how time flies Banota Kula Takula Takula Dili Pali Ponce Malawi Feta Kula Angati Wanda Ani Zana Kumati Funsa If we will make it yeah, yeah. Kuma tacho kangutani Mulunga nalendi pulani 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 Inuzonzi ndi mtawa Mulunga nalendi pulani Pulani I am the person called Thompson Pinganjira in full, Thompson Frank in Pinganjira. Frank was my, my daddy's name, first name. A very, very special day for me today, as I have to go back and recount the journey that has taken FDH Bank to 15 years. But before I get to um, the 15-year journey of FTH Bank, I think it is important that we get to the roots. How did the whole idea of uh, FTH start? One day, I was seated in my office at the stockbrokers, Malawi Limited, where I was the uh, the chief executive officer and I got a call from my brother Dr. Peter Mpinganjira that he wanted to see me so I said okay come then he came in and he showed me some documents he had come across when I, I read those documents when I looked at them I could not believe what I was seeing and quickly in my mind I said ah there's an opportunity here that conversation with Peter is what kicked off everything else. We were able to commence to open the doors on April 1, the, fa the first working day after April 1. But our actual operations, the first trade we did was in 8 April 2002. And so we started. So in 2006, by 2006, we had started the process of uh, uh, wanting to diversify now because we couldn't remain as a, as a discount house. We we're not growing as, as quickly or as, as fast as we would. So there were options and these options included the, um, I, I monitored the, the growth, the diversification on Kingdom Financial Holdings in Zimbabwe who had a um, um, bank, Kingdom Bank, they had a, a discount house, Kingdom discount house and they had stock broking they had microfinance, they had asset man management, but uh, we were only interested in uh, um, the, the bank. Then we said, okay, so what do we do to get a bank? And so we started discussing internally. I, I was the first one to, to, to be employed in, in FDH. And uh, when, when we were operating those days, since I was alone and there were a few people, actually seven of us from that small team of seven 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 people uh close the compact uh we worked we worked very hard very hard and that allowed us to open the doors of fth bank i think it was on 15 july 2008 just in head office omoyo house um I think we had a, a corporate, in the corner there we had a corporate banking office and in the corner there we had a treasury. After some time that's when uh, I remember that meeting when, when we had, when we were looking at the environment uh, of uh, the financial environment, the regulatory environment, the market environment, uh, we, we were in the small boardroom. Those, small, those times the small, the boardrooms were a little very small, very small because it was uh, it was only seven people. So we met there, and uh, 
I, I remember there was Nigel Janakira was the chairman was there as well. Uh, Tom Asiwo was, was there. So we were discussing about the future of the company. And that's how we started operating, no branch. We moved on until um, the first branch was opened in February, 16 February. We opened the first branch in Umoyo House. That's how our, um, um, what do we call the, 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 the main branch or the, yeah, Umoyo House. And, um, um, but in the process of setting up Umoyo House branch, when we got it, uh, we had the, the other, we had the, I think, I can't remember who was there, but we persuaded Old Mijo to help us to kick out who was in there and we took up the press, since Old Mijo was a shareholder. And um, so we opened on 16 February, that branch. But we are now thinking in 2008, how do we now get good locations? You just can't open a, a, a bank, a branch anywhere. And this is the time that we, we think, ah, but you know, at ShopRite, there's this Forex Bureau. It is also at Nico Center, it is also at Crossroads, and it's also a city center in Lirongwe. Um, can we talk to this guy and see if we can buy him out? Uh, Nazil Vali Mahomed. No? Not so we started, I started the process of engaging Nazil. It was a long process. I think from somewhere in the first meeting we had must have been in September 2008. I was checking yesterday, I think as I saw the minutes of 9 September, uh, where we met, discussed. It was a long meeting. I think 9, 9 September was when we were now trying to come to an agreement, but we had been discussing for a much longer time. We were going to buy the, the bureau at 120 or 130 million kwacha, and then we, uh, to sweeten it for him, we said we'll keep you as the, as the, as the GM, the general manager of the bureau. Uh, he had these conditions, terms, oh no, I want this, I want this, I want this, I gave him everything. And in February, I think, we signed an agreement and towards the end of February we were uh, given the approval by the Reserve Bank of Malawi and we bought um, Money Bureau, it was called Money Bureau Limited, at ShopRite, at uh, Crossroads Mall, at uh, Nico Center, Old Town, which is now near Game Complex, and City Center. And so our model was, we are going to introduce bank branches in there. And they would operate side by side with the Bureau, Reserve Bank approved. So suddenly we had these four locations. We were few of us. So every time a new person would come, even the time that we started, would be taken by HR to go and meet the CEO then, who was Mr. Thompson Pingajira, and we used to call him T TF. I was uh, at PBB department, and now I'm in operations department. It was a pleasure to me to have uh, uh, that job. Then we, go, we went into the rice milling, then we started with buying the, uh, the normal small rice milling, the common rice milling machines that we have here in Malawi. And then the Reserve Bank, of course, were also looking to deepen what they called deepening the financial services. So they wanted more participants and more players in the market. I, when something is starting, it is always a challenge. You see, those days, everyone believed in the vision uh, which Dr. Thompson Pingajira had because uh, he, was, uh, he, was very, he was very keen uh, to tell us the vision of the future and uh, what he sees uh, FDH to become. FDH has seen Kangaroo Trading Company Limited growing and we have grown from um, then we had about only 10, 15 employees but now we have grown to 52 employees. 
because the company has invested a lot through FDH. Then there was this other guy from FDH that was banging on me, banging on me, banging on me. Then I said, oh, okay, let me try with uh, FDH Bank. Uh, so as they say that the, the journey of a thousand miles starts with a single step. So those were the small steps we took to, uh, to reach where we are. Uh, the company continued to grow uh, tremendously. Uh, there were many branches opening. Then we started to look at the, at the digital infrastructure. Times were changing, technologies were moving, were moving forward. So uh, we started rolling out our uh, digital, digital uh, infrastructure. Uh, we have so far managed to, to roll out a lot of products in the bank. Uh, from the ATMs, uh, we, we went to POS devices. Uh, then from POS devices, that's when internet banking started to, to take shape. Uh, we, we, we rolled out uh, that project whereby we had uh, uh, mobile banking, um, internet banking, uh, agency banking, and uh, as part of our uh, mobile banking offering, uh, digital infrastructure, we started to, to, have, uh, uh, to, to have cardless ATM transactions, cardless withdrawal on our ATMs. I would believe we were the first bank uh, in Malawi to, to do cardless uh, withdrawals. Others, uh, others came after we, are, we had done it. Uh, then for, for, for two consecutive uh, years, we were number one digital bank uh, in Malawi. I still believe that we are, we are, still, uh, we are still ahead uh, because of the initiative that we have, we have done. Then. We said, oh, okay, now we have the milling machine here. But the demand for kangaroo rice is, uh, is high on the market. That's when we said, oh, okay, FDH, I'm here again. Yes, there's the bank guarantee, but I need the state of art machinery for the rice milling. Said, oh, okay, Mrs. Chokazinga, how are you going to do it? I said, easy give me the the loan pay for the machine and the machine is yours they said oh okay we'll not acquire the machine you're going to be paying i took a loan without security it's because of the relationship that kangaroo has with fdh and when they uh, they bought that machine and there it is, state of the art, the milling machine. Now we are expanding. Uh, so in the early days, uh, as I said, uh, it was a time of, 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 the, of, uh, of the foundation. So everyone was focused on the vision. I would say that uh, um, the way Dr. Tom uh, put the vision to us, it was clear to, what, to, to where we were going. Uh, because he was, he was very, he was, he was very uh, much deep into the vision, and he uh, he transferred that emotions to us. So every time we worked, we we, we saw that uh, it was a small team, uh, but progress was was seen from day one. I think we we saw a lot of progress. Uh, actually, what makes me go to the office is 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 the people, because. I think I've, 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 I've put a lot of, there are a lot of relationships, there are a lot of uh, connections on the, on the emotional level with the people. It is, no longer, it is no longer about work. You see, when you work at a place for a long time, you have proved everything. There is maybe sometimes something, uh, nothing mo more to prove. But now, uh, when the people, you have, you have been good to each other, you take care of one another, it becomes like a, a family. I think one of the reasons I'm here until today, maybe I will also be around for, for some time, is actually because of the people. So I've seen all this and I'm privileged to be one of them, to be one of the people that contributed to that. At FDH, I've learned a lot. I have benefited a lot. Um, as I said, I bought a house, 
through FGH house scheme loan. I even the I bought the car uh, through FGH car loan, and also I bought a uh, plot with uh, through FGH bonuses for the last year. So I benefit a lot. I even my uh, possessors even Anna to. And I, my, my children have been in partner in and we invest with the FDH. Going forward, I see FDH growing. FDH, as I said, started small and you can see where it started from. You can see the passion that TF had. And he used to say it then, that we want to grow. We want to grow across the, the borders. And I believe that that will happen one day. To the staff, who are they at FDH? I left you a solid company, a gem. Something that uh, took years to build. Don't mess it up. Nature it so that it natures you. Grow with it. Our pale friend, grow with us. Don't go there and mess it up. There's a lot of time, effort, and a lot of people who have gone through over the years. Don't be the ones who are going to mess it up. Don't get too excited to get rich too quick because you will never get rich that way. So my last words, I want to thank everyone who's been involved. I want to thank God first and foremost for the wisdom that he gave me to think about what I'm doing, I have done, but also the health and the energy and the will to fight. Thank you everybody. Thank you Malawi. Thank you customers. Thank you everybody. It's been a journey. Thank you.